Good morning everybody. So it is another weekend vlog. We're actually child free. I've literally just woken up, hence the puffy eyes. Half past nine. Normally I'd probably stay in bed a little bit longer when we're child free. Actually I don't, I get really agitated, but normally I probably would because we've had quite a few bad nights sleep but actually I've got to go and get well, I don't have to but I'm going to get my nails done today at 11 o'clock so I need to be ready for that and also I'm having LVL lashes done later on this afternoon which is super exciting as well because I've never had that done I had my patch test done yesterday uh, just to make sure I'm not like allergic to anything and yeah I'm quite excited to have that done I mean I always am told that my eyelashes are really long and really nice but I just fancy just treating myself I was given vouchers to spend on a beauty treatment at a local like spa salon thing I don't even know what you call them and yeah I'm gonna go I chose to have lashes done rather than nails because my nails are actually quite uh short at the moment so I want to have the extensions done which that place doesn't do they just do like the gel polish so yeah that's why I'm gonna go to two different places have two different things and then hopefully chill out and we went to Ikea yesterday and bought loads of packed furniture stuff so we've got quite a lot of things to do let me show you so we've got this unit here that hubby bought for a coffee kind of table unit thing and then over here we have another one because we were, we were really lucky on like places to put your drinks and we kept panicking about the kids so yeah we also picked up these like cork coasters which i thought were quite cute actually we also got bedside units upstairs and what else did we get more hangers so i was sorting out the kids clothes yesterday and yeah like i said it's half nine i'm gonna have some breakfast and then i'm gonna start getting ready because i need to wake hubby up as well so it's typically just started to rain i've just had my nails done here they are for anybody who's interested I'm actually really happy with them. I actually thought that that colour was going to come out slightly more bold, if that makes sense. But I actually think it's really pretty. It's like a, like a glittery pink, shimmery pink. I actually ended up nipping. I actually ended up nipping home and cooking some lunch for hubby and I. Hubby's putting up all the IKEA furniture on his own, which I really appreciate. I feel really stroppy today, and I kind of took it out on hubby for no reason. But I just kind of. I just had enough of going up and down the stairs so many times so I kind of snapped at him. I'm now at Sainsbury's. I've got a very short amount of time. I've got to get into Sainsbury's and then head over, over to home base. But it's actually raining, which is just a nightmare. <laughs> So that was like the weirdest experience I've ever had. I don't know if you can see, my eyelashes are all like lifted. I'm really pleased with them actually. I kind of, I think in the future, I like to have, you know the ones where you like semi-permanent eyelashes or something? Where they get, you don't need to have your makeup on or something like that. That's what I really want to have. But this was just a really cool experience. It's just lifted my eyes and they make all my individual eyelashes look amazing. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep. <laughs> Not 100% sure because it was just a little bit weird like having things pulling my eyelashes and stuff. It didn't hurt at all. It just felt a bit uncomfortable and very strange. So yeah, I'm going to head back to hubby now. He's been doing all the flat back furniture. I think he's pretty much done or very close to being done. So hopefully I can chill out and sort out the clothes and things like that now and just potter about the house. So I'm currently sorting out my underwear basically and my drawers and my clothes. But it's like crazy when you've got all this space. Like hubby's just put together the chest of drawers and there's so many drawer spaces over there. I don't know what to do with everything like I'm trying to figure out where I want everything to go and it just seems crazy that we've got all this space now when before we really didn't all my clothes were just bundled inside the underneath storage of our bed so yeah it's really nice but also very very weird feeling a little bit rough this afternoon hopefully I'll feel a bit better because on Monday we're heading into London on a blog thing where I need to be better to film so yeah a bit of a sore throat and just a headache and just feel a bit like Ugh, but good morning everybody i have got a towel on don't worry i've not been feeling very well today or yesterday i just had a little bath to see if that would make me feel a bit better it has a little bit probably teamed with the ibuprofen that i took but yeah i need to go and watch p1 have her taekwondo grade in in about two hours so i thought i'd get ready and start. we've also just had our hello fresh delivery still feeling a little bit poorly today I'm feeling loads better though, but I'm just walking down to where P1 has got her taekwondo grading because I have her little taekwondo passport, which I didn't realise, forgot to pack it, so I'm going to go and see them. Oh, I'm out of breath. That shows that I'm just not feeling 100% because I've actually been feeling fine when I walk lately.
I'm back home now and I'm sorting out all of our books to put on the bookshelf. P1, bless her, did so well at her Taekwondo thing. I was actually really surprised because we don't get to see her doing it because it's like behind, it's in a hall. The parents stay outside of the hall when they practice so we don't get to see it. So seeing her do her Taekwondo made me realise how much she's actually learning there and it was really just really nice. Hopefully she's graded because we won't find out until her next lesson which is Tuesday and hopefully she did well. She answered all her questions right which was good. Um, I am now going to watch a little bit more of Heartland while I do the book. So I've pretty much spent the afternoon sitting on the sofa. I have been potting around the house and doing stuff like not as much as I wanted to because I wanted to kind of get this house ready but at the same time I need to be better for tomorrow because we're being professionally filmed in London for a car, car brand but yeah I'm really not feeling good. My temperature actually went quite high earlier like 38 something but it seems to have dropped at the moment yet yeah, even though it's dropped at the moment I'm like shivering like hell so yeah I don't know what's happening but I managed to do a blog post and now I'm gonna head up to bed now and hopefully feel better for the morning because we all need to be okay for tomorrow I just wish I wasn't feeling so rubbish